Good afternoon, my Wix community. Graham Cohen here, online business growth expert. And today is going to be our second series on how to prospect and land your perfect lead. And today what I'm actually going to show you is how to dig, how I do research into finding the perfect lead. And actually, I'm going to make some cold calls for you live so you can hear exactly my strategy and, and I'll be giving you tips along the way. So let's dive in. Let's dig in. What I'm going to do first is I always will do a search. In this case, I'm going to search bail bonds in San Fernando, California. And what I do is I'll typically go down to around the fourth or fifth page and start poking around at some of these sites because obviously these people might need help as they're not on the first page. So I'll open a couple links here. This one, my bell. My bail hotline there's a phone number there let's look at this one we'll open these in separate tabs and let's take a look at these ones so i'll prospect three today and i always start with kind of giving an getting an overview of what their website looks like this is okay a little bit outdated in my opinion uh why choose bail bond professional bail agents easy payment plans no collateral needed not bad uh not really great but not half bad let's take a look at this one whoops they're not up oh, here we go we have the keys to your freedom nice headline i like that nice hero shot um nice video obviously we won't play that and something from the bible interesting here's another one penny uh let's see all in spanish so they're catering to a spanish audience something of interest so let's look at these what i'll do is we've seen my prospect sheet i'll go back here to my prospect sheet i have a couple already that i was working on but let's just put in today's date which is the 29th and of this year we'll put there and let's just put up these ones in as well so we know what we're doing. I like to put a little bit of notes, uh, just giving me some reminders because I'll be calling typically a lot. So let's see this first one. There's a phone number right there, 818. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to call them with you right now. So let's see now couple things before you making cold calls and this is always something that people are very hesitant or nervous about there's nothing that what, what's the worst that can happen they'll say no or they'll tell you some bad curse words or hang up on you so what it's about your attitude and i have a little mantra in life that i go by that, that, that it's as follows don't let anybody else's attitude affect your mood. So I'm going to, I'm not going to let anybody affect me. I'm going to be in control of my attitude. I'm going to start the, the call in a positive manner. I'm going to have a smile on my face. You can even hear possibly that I have a smile and I'm going to look now. I'm going to use some strategic words to, to prospect and I'll walk you through those after I actually make the phone call. So here we go. Yeah, hello. Yeah, hi, I was wondering who I would talk to who handles your marketing for your company. Uh, when you say they, is it a corporate company or are you just an answering service? Oh. It, would it be possible to send me to the marketing department? Yeah, that'd be great or Okay, great. Thank you. Yeah, hey, Philip, uh, my name's Graham. I guess I was transferred to you. I was wondering if you are the person that handles your marketing for for your bail bonds company. Yeah. All right, great. What is it? 
9685. Anyone I should talk to in particular there? Okay, great. Thanks, Philip. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. No, no worries. You too. Bye. Okay, so pretty interesting. Spoke with a guy named Philip. He trained, he gave me the phone number for their corporate office. And now it turns from a little bit of a cold lead into a little bit of a warmer one. So I'll follow up with Philip. I'll put a little bit, some notes here. Philip gave me the corporate number I need to follow up. So there we go. One call. Pretty nice. You know, it's a big company, corporate. Let's jump onto the next one here and we'll follow the same script. Now, as you can see, I'm asking specific questions. In that one, I asked, who is the person that I need to speak with that handles your marketing? So it's an open-ended question. I'm not, uh, I'm engaging the person. It, that is a line that I've used and perfected for many, many years. Um, it, it gives a person a sense of help that they're helping me not not really stand off which i needed so that, that that's my first tip right there let's jump onto this one 4141 and sometimes even i'll dig into the contact us to see who's there actually a lot of times and sometimes i'll yeah hi i was wondering who i would talk to who handles your marketing Like, you know, website development, SEO, helping you with, you know, re reaching an audience. I actually found you like on the fourth page of Google. So to help you get higher ranked, um, you know, that type of thing. You are? Do you have an agency or do you do it yourself? Oh, I'm sorry. Mm. Uh, you wouldn't be interested in seeing what, what I have to offer. I could shoot you an email. Okay, great. I appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Okay, so that was a no, but as you can see, I probed a little bit, asked a couple more questions. Didn't just take no for an answer. You win some, you lose some. Moving on. Let's see, Penny Fianza, so I would assume that Penny might be someone we would need to talk to. I'll dig into contacts here. They have a bunch of offices. Um, some of these companies are bigger in corporate, which is great because if you land a client like this, it's a very good client. So let's just jump in. Let's call their San Fernando office, and this will be the last call for right now. Five, seven, two, eight. Yeah, hi, Sherry. I was wondering who I would talk to who handles your marketing for your company. Okay. Talk with this one. Okay, so that was a voicemail. I typically don't leave voicemail messages. I'll always just keep trying a couple times. Understand a couple things. So that's my, my, my tips for today. Uh, let's just put on here, get rid of the battery. And I'll just add here that they are not interested. I will highlight them and put a red in their square as they're a no. And here went to, I coded by voicemail, call back later. And let's grab their phone number. This was. 818-579-2460. Okay, so there you go. That is 
there it is that's my cold calling technique for the day my tips as you can see I'm never never short of leads because I am the one that's generating them for myself so if ever I feel that I, I need some business or I'm stressed out I always have the power at my fingertips and I know I can rely on myself rather than leads or arena leads or or anything else so uh, stay tuned for my next video series on maybe we'll follow up on some of these people and actually land a client but i'm very happy with that even just out of three and that took me a few minutes i think i got one nice you know interesting uh lead to follow up and a second one that that i that i will as well understand that it takes typically between six to nine points of contact to actually get through to somebody so be tenacious don't give up never say can't and just keep doing it the person that's last standing is going to be the person that wins. So good luck to you and stay tuned.